So you might be in a situation where for some reason there is water detected in your Android USB port. So what does this mean? Well, maybe you went through and actually dropped your phone in some like watery place or there's water spilt on your device. Now, luckily for you, a lot of phones nowadays are completely water resistant and some are waterproof. So if you get water inside of your phone, most of the time you might be okay and there's probably not even going to be anything you need to do at a crazy high level. The only thing you might have to do for the most part though is to go ahead and dry out your charging port at the bottom. Now sometimes you might get a little bit of like a pop-up that will tell you, hey, there's water detected on your USB port and your USB port is turned off. Now what you can do is you can tap into that, you know, that little you know, option that comes up. So you can tap into that option, that little pop-up that comes up, and you should basically be able to go ahead and still turn on your USB port and you know offset that. But if you have a wireless charger, I'd recommend just going through and wirelessly charging your device for the most part while your phone, while the USB port is damaged or whatever it is. Now, what you want to do before you even plug anything in or do anything crazy is you want to go and try your best to dry out that charging port. So what I'd recommend doing is basically grabbing your phone like this with the USB port at the bottom and trying to get as much water out this way. You can also try turning off your phone if you want to, but you know that's probably something you want to do. Try to get as much water out this way as possible and take a close look. If there's still a bunch of water stuck in that USB port, the other thing you can try doing is going through and grabbing a napkin of some sort and trying to basically gently prying out as much water inside of this USB port as possible. It can take a little bit of time, but that's another thing you can try doing as well. Now, if that's not working, you may also just want to keep your you know, particular Android phone in pretty much like a cool condition, in a warm condition actually. So keeping it in some sort of like a hot condition or warm condition can also help fix this particular issue as well. And that's another thing you can try doing too. If it's still not working, like I said, you can try overriding your particular USB port turning off by tapping into that notification, turning it off there, and that's another thing you can try doing as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to all that.